Hello all, I am Dr. Navina Singh, Chief Infertility Expert at Indira Ayurveda Hyderabad. I hope you all are taking very good care of yourself in this pandemic situation. In today's Facebook live session, we are going to discuss about a very interesting topic called tubal blockage or tubal factor infertility. So we all know that in a female there are two fallopian tubes, two ovaries and one uterus. The normal length of one fallopian tube is approximately 10 cm and the width of the fallopian tube is 1 cm. One fallopian tube has two ends, one end which is attached to your uterus and other end which is floating freely just above the ovaries. As soon as the ovulation happens, within 2-3 to three minutes, the egg which is released from the ovary enters the fallopian tube and at this time if sexual intercourse occurs or with the process of intrauterine insemination if a sperm is inserted inside the uterine cavity then sperm travels throughout your uterus and enters the fallopian tube now if the quality of a sperm and egg is good then they fertilize in the fallopian tube and the embryo is formed so fallopian tube is not only a tube but it is a place where lot of important events occurs like fertilization and even the early development of your baby or embryo. So not checking only the patency of your tube is not enough. The functioning of the tube is also very important. So what is tubal factor infertility? When the blockage in the fallopian tube occurs, then it does not allow egg and sperm to meet each other. So obviously when egg and sperm is not meeting or fertilization is happening, then there is no chance of embryo formation inside your body. 25 to 30 percent cases of infertility are uh, suffering from tubal factor infertility. Uh, this 25 to 30 percent cases of tubal factor infertility can have both side of tubal blockage or can have one side of tubal blockage. So what are the causes of this tubal factor infertility? Infection in females which are commonly uh, sexually transmitted like glamidea and gonorrhea. Then abdominal surgeries can cause damage to the fallopian tubes. Severe infections like endometriosis, uh, tuberculosis, they cause a lot of scarring and adhesions between the uh, free end of the fallopian tubes and the ovary just below it. In cases of pelvic inflammatory disease or what we call as PID, where the inflammation travels from the cervix through the uterus and enters your fallopian tubes which result in the blockage of the free end of your uh, fallopian tubes. So how can one complain or what are the symptoms of a tubal blockage? Majority of the females with tubal blockage are asymptomatic. That means they will not have any complaint unless and until it, they go for their initial infertility investigations and where accidentally it is found that their tubes are blocked. In females where there is a severe adhesions or severe then the uh, chronic pain or chronic pelvic pain can result into uh, a which is the symptoms of a tubal blockage. So now how to detect or how to diagnose tubal blockage? Your doctor will commonly recommend you a test which is called HSG, hysterosalpingogram, which is an x-ray based test done by a radiologist. Now in this test, a liquid is injected from the cervix, which is the opening of your uh, uterus and then it is checked whether this liquid is traveling throughout your uterus and coming out from your both fallopian tubes or not. And this flow of the liquid is recorded in the x-ray but if your tubes are open that does not mean that they are functioning normally 
Another drawback with this HSG test is that 15% of cases performing these tests can have a false positive report. False positive report means there is no tubal blockage actually but it is documented in this test that the tubal blockage is seen. Another gold standard test for detecting whether your tubes are blocked or open is a laparoscopy surgery. Now with the help of a laparoscopy surgery, we directly go inside your uh, abdomen and check whether your tubes are inflammated or not, whether your tubes are uh, showing any features of a scarring and there also we inject a dye from your cervix which is the opening of the uterus and we live, uh, one can live see that whether this dye is coming out from your both side of fallopian tubes or not. So laparoscopy not only detects whether your tubes are open or not, it also helps in diagnosing the minor uh, adhesions or maybe the severe cases of endometriosis also when we are performing a live surgery. So, uh, if one asks that which is the better test, definitely laparoscopy with the dye insertion is a better diagnosis for a tubal blockage. Now, in cases where there is a doubtful reporting of HSG, then one should directly opt for a diagnostic laparoscopy. Now, once the it has been diagnosed or checked that your tubes are blocked, then what are the treatment options? If the tubes are completely damaged or severely damaged, then your doctor will recommend you for an IVF treatment or vein vitro fertilization. Because if the tubes are completely damaged, then the chances of fertilization is almost nil. So with the help of IVF, this fertilization process is done in the lab outside your body. Now, uh, if there is a lot of adhesions or a lot of uh, what we say damage in the fallopian tube, it can also cause collection of water or what we call as hydrosalpings in the fallopian tube. In these cases, your doctor might suggest you to operate or to remove your fallopian tubes before performing an IVF procedure. In cases where there is minor damage to your fallopian tube documented on uh, the laparoscopy, then one can think of the tubal surgeries. But tubal surgery should only be recommended in cases of minor damage where the egg reserve of the female is good, the age of the female is young, the sperm quantity and quality is good. Then only one should consider for a tubal surgery and also with the proper counseling that the risk of ectopic pregnancy in cases of tubal surgery is more. So friends, all those who are having or suffering from this tubal factor infertility, uh, please do not worry. There is treatment and you can easily conceive with the help of in vitro fertilization. Thank you and take care of yourself.